Hey everybody. Uh, I know in, in class we've been talking a lot about the different parts of speech and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you exactly why we've been studying it and how parts of speech and understanding what they are can improve our writing. So I started off with a little example here and I want you to take a look at it. So it says the boy ran down the street. He was tired. Johnny wanted to get a treat from the ice cream truck. Johnny was leaving and he yelled at the bus driver to stop. The man slowed to a stop and took Johnny's order. He ordered an ice cream cone. Johnny ate his ice cream cone. He was happy. As you can see, it's uh, pretty basic and also pretty boring. So this very simple passage can be modified, can be changed simply by adding in really strong adjectives, adverbs, and strengthening the verbs. So we're going to take a look first at the adjectives and action verbs. So I know we're not focusing on linking or helping, just strictly the action verbs. So as you can see in this first paragraph, there are plenty of action verbs, but there are very few adjectives that are in it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to uh, add some adjectives and also some adverbs to describe the verbs or to modify the adjectives. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So as you can see, we've added a lot of adjectives in here. So we had two in the previous ones, and now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine adjectives, and we've added in a whole bunch of adverbs as well. So as you can see, just by adding in adverbs and adjectives, we have totally changed what the paragraph sounds like. The chubby boy ran frantically down the tree-lined street. He was completely tired. Johnny wanted to get a sweet treat from the yellow ice cream truck. The yellow truck was leaving and he desperately yelled at the unaware driver to stop. The man abruptly slowed to a stop and happily took Johnny's order. He quickly ordered an enormous ice cream cone. Johnny greedily ate his succulent ice cream cone. He was gleefully happy. Now, just by adding in adverbs and adjectives, we have done an incredible job of improving a very basic paragraph. So now what we have to do is we have to go through and we have to make sure that our adjectives, adverbs, and verbs are as strong as they can be. And the way we do that is by using our thesaurus. And as you know, on a computer, we can simply go in, highlight a word, and look up synonyms. And we can see a whole list of words that are going to be, uh, be stronger than the simple basic word that we have. So let's take a look at what it looks like now. So as you can see, instead of chubby boy, we changed it to obese. And instead of ran, we changed it to sprinted. And rather than tired, we changed it to exhausted. Okay, and rather than leaving, we changed it to departing. And rather than unaware, we changed it to oblivious. And rather than took, Johnny's order, we change it to procured Johnny's order. These are amazingly easy words um, that we just simply picked up right off the computer. So let's take a look at our final product. So as we can see, the original passage is here. And now let's take a look at the new passage using strong verbs, adverbs, adjectives. The obese boy sprinted frantically down the tree-lined street. He was completely exhausted. Johnny desired to get a sugary treat from the yellow ice cream truck. The yellow truck was departing, and he desperately yelled at the oblivious driver to stop. The man abruptly decelerated to a stop and happily procured Johnny's order. He quickly ordered a mammoth ice cream cone. Johnny greedily consumed his succulent indulgence. He was gleefully content. Oh, you sound like an amazing writer now. And all you did was simply just identify opportunities to add adverbs, adjectives, and strong verbs. Go through this again and check and see what we've done. And you make sure you use your thesaurus on your computer.